Tuesday, February 7th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that that's Billy, the Shih Tzu, if you don't know who he is. He's my dog. Sometimes he'll be on the video. Sometimes he won't. Uh, depends where, what he's up to in the house. Uh, but anyway, I'd like to uh, make a video uh, covering... Uh, Precious metals, the dollar, mostly currencies this morning, uh, mainly because yesterday I, I found it was an interesting day uh, for gold. Um, I've been following gold for over 15 years, or about 15 years, I would say. And uh, I know pretty much the patterns that the price of gold follows during the day. And yesterday was a rare day, in my opinion. Gold um, firmed up all along, uh, you know, during uh, the U.S. hours, you know, uh, since it opened uh, around 8.20 Eastern Standard Time or 1.20 p.m. London. Up until 6.30 p.m. London or 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, gold crept up the whole day, and that was in spite of the dollar being relatively firm. Uh, it was weak against the yen, I know, but against the pound and the euro, it was fairly steady to firmer. And what was more interesting was that gold, actually, after the uh, regular trading hours on COMEX, which closes at 1.30 uh, p.m. New York time, uh, gold kept creeping up and it even broke through 1230 which was a key resistance most of the day and that was very surprising to me and we traded all, all the way up to uh, 1235 uh, on the access session uh, in New York so what am I trying to say here uh, am I saying that uh, things are changing and gold the gold price is going to reflect the real fundamentals maybe uh, I just wanted to point out that uh, it was a very unusual, it was a rare day yesterday because most of the time, you know, when the a gold price is fairly firm in the afternoon in London, early afternoon uh, New York time, if you see the dollar creeping up how it did late yesterday, uh, invariably uh, gold uh, drops. Uh, but it didn't, so that's surprising. This morning though, um, the dollar, well, right now it's 12 o'clock uh, London time, roughly, so 7 a.m. New York. The dollar is fairly strong. We're up back above 100 on the dollar index. We're at 100.61. It's up uh, 0.71, so um, fairly strong, particularly against the pound. The pound is down almost 100 pips at 123.73, down two-thirds, uh, three-quarters of a percent. Uh, the euro is down about 0.7 of a percent as well, and uh, the dollar has strengthened against the yen back above 112. It's 112.40, so up uh, two thirds of a percent roughly. And yeah, gold is down, but it's at 12.30, which is uh, down about five dollars from the high yesterday, and it's still up about ten dollars on the week, and that. That's in spite of a stronger dollar. So what I'm trying to say here as well is that gold can also go up when the dollar uh, goes up. That happened, I think, in 07, 08. Uh, so, you know, just because the dollar index is firming up a bit doesn't mean gold is going to go lower. Even though we're lower here today, on the week, we're, we're firmer. Um, what else? Uh, the Dow is up 52 points at... 20,100 S&P up 5 at 20 almost 2300 it's at 2298 but what I wanted to talk more about is the uh, currency markets I think uh, the euro uh, was fairly weak yesterday and gold was uh, quite strong against the euro yesterday as well mainly because there's a lot of political uncertainty uh, in Europe particularly in France we're seeing the spread between the 10-year uh, French e government yield and the German government yield uh, widen quite uh, far. Um, let's see here. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's the widest it's been uh, for a while, which means there's political risk. One of the candidates in France, uh, the uh, Fillon, who's Marine Le Pen's uh, main opposition, he's been having uh, problems, political problems in terms of uh, corruption. He came out yesterday with a speech saying, you know, uh, he supposedly paid his wife uh, a lot of money, but he said he, she was working for him. And uh, he kind of tried to put it under the carpet. The markets didn't really seem to to like it. So in terms of bonds, uh, let's have a look at look here, uh, an overview of uh, European bonds this morning and the yields, of course. So France right now, uh, the, the yield has dropped four basis points. So they're the it's 101, 110, the 10-year the yield. The German is about 0.37. So that's narrowed a bit. But in the last month, the 10-year uh, French uh, yield has gone up 27 basis points. And the German has only gone up 8. So that shows that there's risk there. Uh, Italy is still, you know, that yield is up about 37 basis points uh, on the... Uh, on the month, it's at 233. I would say, you know, I've worked in the bond markets for years in the city, and uh, yes, they're creeping up, but I don't think it's anything uh, disastrous at the moment. Uh, this is fairly, uh, how can I say, uh, controlled. Uh, there is no panic here at the moment, and I'll keep an eye on, on the yields. Uh, the US 10 year yield is 242. We've crept up uh, to around 250 in the last week or so. Seems to be a good resistance. So, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is uh, the um, the price of gold in British pounds. That's uh, back up to 995, you know, after being down to 940 uh, a few weeks ago. So we are almost back up to 1,000. We dropped to, I think, uh, around 900 when we had that big correction in December. And uh, the recent uh, high in uh, the price of gold is about 1,067. And it just goes to show that it's a good currency to have gold. Uh, and, you know, especially when your national currency is uh, basically being debauched or debauched or <laughs> debased, uh, it's always uh, a good protection. Uh, to, to have. So, um, yeah, as I uh, finish here, it's 12.15 um, London time, 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So gold right now, 12.30.50, down about five. Uh, the uh, dollar index is at par, par 59. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about, the fact that uh, gold had a, a very good day yesterday, not just because it went up uh, in price over 1%, but for when during the day it went up, you know, during US hours. That's That tells me we need to keep an eye on it, and it tells me that probably this move higher is for real. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, 1,050 almost here, so Bitcoin doing very well. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, there's some links below in the description. Thank you and take care. Bye.